everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Cassandra and today we're just doing a quick and dirty core flow to really target the abdominals and I guarantee that you really don't need a lot of time to be able to do these. In just under 10 minutes you'll be able to get a really good burn and they're easy exercises to fit in before you start doing your daily practice or to complement any kind of training that you normally do. So let's go ahead and get started in good old fashioned plank pose. So you'll want to place your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Fingertips are spreading, fingers are pointing towards the top of the mat and step both feet back, lifting your knees off of the ground here. So you'll want to curl your tailbone under, pointing towards your heels, reaching your heart forward, shoulders are down and away from the ears. Stay really strong through the arms here, back of the neck is long, so you're only looking a couple inches in front of you. And just hold here for five deep breaths. In and out through the nose, all the way down into the belly. Make sure you're not sagging here through the lower back or lifting your hips too high. We're keeping a nice and steady long line. Lower abs hug in. Take one more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Widen your stance so your feet are hip width distance apart. You're curling your tailbone up towards the sky. Bend your knees as much as you need to here. We're going to move dynamically in and out from downward dog into plank pose. So as you inhale, shift forward into plank, drop your hips, look forward, exhale back into downward facing dog. So just warming up the spine, getting in touch with our inner core, inhale, come forward, hips go low, heart reaches forward, exhale, downward dog. Three more, breathe deeply. Exhale, hips go up and back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Our last one, come forward into plank pose. And from here, let's lower down onto our forearms one at a time. Elbows down onto the mat. And same thing here, heart reaches forward, belly is active. Three more deep breaths. So from here, you'll want to pivot over your left forearm, bringing it parallel to the short edge of your mat. Turn over into your modified forearm side plank. Right palm can stay directly on your right hip. As you inhale, send your hips as high as you can, and then exhale, lower them down, hovering an inch or two off of the mat. So we'll do that four more times. Inhale up, exhale to lower. Three, lower, two, Lower down, exhale, one, inhale. Lower down on the exhale, come back through to midline. Back into your forearm plank and we'll go do the same thing on the second side. Right forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat, left palm onto your left waist. Inhale to lift up, exhale, sink it down low, four more. Four, three, two, one. Come back to neutral, back into your forearm plank, and from here into dolphin pose, lifting your hips up, walking your toes in. Don't worry about having your legs super straight here. Don't worry about having your heels down onto the mat. You're just pressing your chest towards your thighs, keeping your head off the ground. Take three deep breaths here. So from this forearm plank, we're going to come through to Chaturanga. So you'll need to put more weight into your palms. You're going to shift your weight forward, coming off of your elbows. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, back into Downward Facing Dog. Palms are shoulder width distance apart. Feet are hip width distance. As you inhale, right leg rises up towards the sky. Exhale, come forward into plank, knee to nose. Hold here for three breaths. Squeeze that leg in as close as you can. Inhale, send it back up, three-legged dog. This time, come forward, right elbow to your right knee. Keep your hips down low, one nice long line. One more inhale here. And then send your hips up and back, three-legged dog. This time you come forward, right knee goes towards your left elbow, come into a twist.
Inhale, back into three like a dog. We'll do that twisting action once more with a little bit of a modification. So come forward, right knee, left elbow. Put more weight into your right palm. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Float your right leg off the ground. Two deep breaths here. Left palm comes back down, three-legged dog, inhale, and then exhale to release. Second side, left leg rises up, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, shift forward into plank. Hold here. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee towards your left elbow. Keep your hips down low. Inhale, back into your three-legged dog. Last one. This time your left knee goes towards your right elbow. Coming into a twist. Only twisting from your lower belly and down. Inhale, send it back. We're coming back into that twist and extending the leg. Come forward into plank. Left knee to right elbow. Slowly lift your right fingertips up towards the sky and extend through that left leg. Right fingertips come down onto the mat, back into your three-legged dog. Exhale, both feet come down. Take a little bit of a child's pose, just three breaths. Come back into your downward facing dog. So next we're going to jump through. Make sure you have enough distance between your palms so that you can, your legs can easily flow through. Come up high onto the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, look forward, and hop with as much control as you can. Crossing at the ankles, extending your legs forward, and slowly dropping down. Come back lower onto your mat. We're gonna come into Navasana boat pose. Start by bending the knees, keeping your toes on the mat. Maybe holding onto your thighs. Extending and reaching the chest up towards the sky, and then maybe seeing if the toes will lift off of the mat. Hold on to the backs of your thighs if you need to, or reach your arms forward. Three deep breaths here. On your last exhale, plant your palms down onto the mat, cross your ankles, and pick everything up. Exhale to set it down, back into our boat pose. Take that first variation or extend your legs. Arms reaching out, three more breaths. Last exhale, cross your ankles, palms come down, pick everything up. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Slowly drop them down, come back into your boat pose. This time maybe your arms reach up overhead. This time come into low boat, lowering down onto your low back and mid back. Arms are still overhead, three breaths. And release. So take a moment here, palms come onto the belly. Take deep breaths, slowing down your heart rate. We have a few more exercises to go before we get to cool down. So coming into some more traditional ab exercises, you'll want to bend your knees, feet flat down on the ground. And it's very similar to um, bicycle abs, bicycle twists, except we're going much, much slower with a lot more control. So go ahead and lift your knees, stacking them directly over your hips. Press your low back into the mat, and that might have made your knees come forward. So shift them back, really strong through the pelvis, strong through the legs, Squeezing your inner thighs together, feet are active. Interlace your fingers behind your neck or behind the back of your head and make sure that your head is fully supported here. You don't want to strain your neck at all. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you inhale. Pick up head and shoulders off of the mat. Hug belly in. As you exhale, twist towards your right knee. Left leg reaches out. Both shoulder blades are off of the mat. Moving slowly here. Inhale, come back through to center. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, twisting towards the left knee, right leg reaches out, both shoulder blades off of the mat. Inhale, back to center, hug belly button in, curl tailbone up. Exhale, towards your right knee, left leg extends. Inhale, center, 
Curling tailbone up. Exhale, twist towards the left. Right leg reaches up. Activate your toes. Keep the legs engaged here. Inhale, back to center. Curl everything up. Belly button hugs in. Exhale, twisting towards the right. Left leg extends. Inhale, back through to center. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, towards your left knee. Right leg reaches. We have one more set to go. Inhale, back to center. Curl tailbone up. Head and shoulders are off of the mat still. Last set. Exhale, twist towards your right knee. Left leg reaches. Inhale, center. Belly button hugs in. Curl tailbone up. Last one. Exhale, twist towards your left knee. Right leg extends. Take one deep breath. Come in. Inhale, pick everything up. And slowly release palms onto your belly. Take a few deep breaths here. And let's turn over onto our bellies, coming into Cobra Pose. Just to stretch out the front of the body. So palms are beside your shoulders or directly underneath your shoulders. Legs and feet stay down onto the mat as you inhale, chin and chest lift up. Keep your elbows hugging in, shoulders rolling down and away from your ears. Take a few deep breaths here. Hips are staying down onto the mat, as are your feet and legs. Two more deep breaths. And then exhale, slowly come all the way back down. And make your way back into downward facing dog, curling your back toes under. Let's go up and back. Take three deep breaths into downward facing dog. And then on your next inhale, shift forward into plank. Hips are low. And then from here, from your plank pose, as you inhale, right leg rises up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back. We'll do three more like that. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze. Last one. Inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Round the spine just a little bit. Right toes go back and down onto the floor, switching sides. Left toes reach up, breathe in deep. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, back. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, send it back. One more. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, send it back. Last one. Squeeze it in. Hold it in as tight as you can. Step your left toes back, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, come forward into plank. Lower chaturanga all the way down onto your belly this time. And turn over onto your back. Coming into our reverse plank, you'll want to sit up. Palms will stay directly underneath your shoulders. Fingers are pointing towards your heels. Keep your legs straight down onto the mat. And as you inhale, slowly start to lift your hips up towards the sky. Chin can stay tucked in towards the chest. Or if it feels good for you, you can go ahead and release or start to look up. Keep curling your tailbone under. Lifting your hips up as high as you can here. Three more breaths. And slowly exhale to release. And there you have it. Hopefully you should feel a lot more in touch with your core and your abdominals here. This is pretty simple exercises that you can do as often as you can. And I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like the video. Thank you so much for watching.